Hey guys, so I have another video for you guys, and this one is about a Mustang. And um, yeah, we're gonna kind of go over the whole car and Mustang. I don't know. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's see what they got to offer. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you. Mustang that we got and let's see what you guys think So here's the new 2019 Mustang black convertible. My wifey likes her Mustang convertible. She did not want to take anything less. I guess she's tired of her BMW. So now she's taking a B. She's taking a Mustang. But I kind of like it though. I don't know. Look at those doors, man. It has a projector light. And there's the Mustang on the floor. I like the rims. They're pretty, pretty nice. I always like two-tone colors. And uh, those are pretty nice, even though, even though uh, this car would look a lot better with some off-the-market rims. They look pretty decent. But the back though, man. Oof, the trunk. That back looks super, super sweet. I like the whole... Look at all them. Look at those waves. Look at those angles, man. Sweet ass right there. Look at that sweet butt right there. kind of go into the car itself the doors this car is actually pretty pretty cool it's all leather or pleather I guess we no longer have the um, the button here anymore to lock and unlock the door it's all wireless or electrical I guess Look at those details, man. So damn nice. The leather. Looks like they did pretty good quality. They put in pretty good quality. Leather. Or pleather, whatever it may be. It looks super nice. The door handle. It's lit in. It's illuminated. Look at that door though. Huh. Whoa, look at that. Super nice. And then you go back into the Mustang and they actually have a tag and it's actually illuminated. Which I of course they're gonna of course they're going to um, make sure their logo is stands out and and uh, very well eliminated the leather on this car seats they're actually the car itself is pretty spacious for two people in the back the room is not great at all 
literally this car could only fit um could only fit two people because in the back a person like myself i'm driving i was driving the car and i had a i had to back up the seat all the way to the back so as you can see there's no room whatsoever but i don't know if, if it's because um it's a convertible but uh yeah there's no room in the back the front it's pretty roomy really roomy actually i'm sort of tall considering i'm six feet maybe there's I don't know, people might not consider that being tall, but six feet is pretty good, and I fit pretty damn nice here. <sighs> so, the, I might get into the car. Uh, look at that wheel now. All the buttons, all the controls, and everything is literally in your wheel, steering wheel. What I like, I really like. It's pretty damn sweet. Look at the how this is how you start your car. Uh, everything super well illuminated. Ah, uh, look at that. I like all the controls. I really love this, man. I love what they did right here. The first one I got into the car. Um, I didn't, I couldn't find that. I knew, I knew that, uh, there was a wired, it was keyless remote. But I couldn't find where I could start the car from and then, there you go, right in front of me. But, um, yeah. We have everything right here. You have all your volumes. It's just all the radio controls. Cruise control. And uh, Bluetooth. And this is all for the screen right here. So practically everything gets control. Out of this area out of in this car it's pretty sweet pretty damn sweet now you do have all your your um, molds different molds that you can set the car in and this is where you control that from from there uh, this I really don't know what it I got I have to um, I have to investigate but I don't know what this does hey there's all these other controls your emergency it's our first day in the car so excuse me if I don't know all the details on that car on all the controls but yeah Look at the dash, man. Look at the dash. It looks super, super, super sweet. I love it. And this is my favorite part right here. Uh, look at that. This section right there, I love it. I love what they did with this. This detail right here, I love it, man. It's super cool. Stainless, stainless steel look to it, or that's, I don't know what you would call it, but stainless steel. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong, but this whole look is super sweet. I like it. I like it very much. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go take it for a drive. And um, see what I think about it. I mean, 
I don't know. I, I, I might. The wife might convince me to keep it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Trading in our Beamer for this. My dream has been always to get a Panamera, but this could be just a car for us to um, play around, I guess, for our, our fun time, I guess. Because practically, we could, me and her would be the only ones driving it. We'll see. Here's all the lights, all the controls for the lights, and everything. Go. So, go lower. One, two, three. Alright, so this is what the car looks like with the top, with the top on. What you guys think? Convertible? I know the wife what likes it. I don't know. We're going to keep it for a few days. Unfortunately, this car, we got to take it back. We'll have it for a few days. Because our Beamer is in the shop. There were some um, fumes coming out of the air AC. And uh, that was not very good. It's very unhealthy. And... Alhambra, BMW, they always take care of us really good. So all we did is take our car back and they hooked us up with this bad boy. And it's funny because we, um, it's funny because we saw this car at uh, the LA Auto Show. Liked it, and here we are today. We're actually driving one. We're gonna have it for a few days to enjoy. I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna have some fun with it tomorrow. Hopefully, I could record some stuff and make some video out of it. But um, yeah, for today, this is this is it.